Hey, welcome back multifamily investors and mixing things up. I am shifting to a new kind of mode for my daily videos. This is kind of a deal uh, review of the day. And I wanted to highlight this one as an example of a typical like duplex in our greater Puget Sound area. This one's down in Lacey. It, it dropped from 590 to 570. And just some gripes again about the listing in general. Um, you know, I, I wish that agents did a better job you know, it says here insurance that that's fine. It has a vacancy rate of 40,800. And this has been on the market now 20 days. And this agent still has not corrected this. Uh, the seller hasn't seen this and pointed it out. Uh, nobody else has commented and, and said, hey, you've got your vacancy rate. I may reach out to him today and, and as a gesture, but I know other agents don't like being told uh, how to do their business by other agents. So that's why sometimes I just keep my mouth shut. But Anyway, then he's got an estimate here for water sewer garbage, and then he's got a cap rate of 17%, which we know is not even close to realistic. Uh, it's probably more like a five or six if that at best. Okay, well then they have the rents here at 1,400 and 800. So we do see some upside that there's 400 possibly in unit B that you could bump up. So that gives you a rent, a total monthly income of 3,200. But if we do 3,200, um, he has listed a gross scheduled income of 40,800. But if we do 3,200 times 12, that's 38,400. So right there, he's miscalculated. He's, he's actually done it by 13 months instead of 12. Um, and then I don't know, even know how he gets this cap rate of 17%. So anyway, not a bad duplex though. In general, let's just take a look at this. You know, it's frustrating. I know, I know it's frustrating. Uh, the prices are not adjusting with the way rates are skyrocketing. Um, but again, historically, we're in the mid sevens. This is not like astronomical interest rates, but the prices are not adjusting to, to help buyers or investors, okay? So there's just traditional side-by-side -side built in the 70s. You know, a nice two bed, one bath. It's been updated, at least this unit has, very clean. Uh, some baseboard heating, some laminate flooring, no popcorn ceilings. Well, there's popcorn still in that bedroom. It looks like newer windows, so the vinyl, double pane. Very clean, nothing wrong really with this unit. It'd make a great rental or something to house hack, right? Has a garage, attached garage, one car has a backyard area for people to kind of hang and chill, a little patio, more pictures of the front. Here's the other unit. I don't know why they put their phone or their camera on the floor to take this picture. Um, geez. Anyway, you know, and they've, it would be nice if they updated these to, to white trim, but whatever, it still works. Kitchen's been updated as well on this one. Again, nice area fenced off kind of gives some privacy for the tenants you can tell this one tenant that's been living there these were probably taken before you know had some pride of ownership I like to have some things out there some plant life which we always like to see okay so there's the unit there's the property 570 how does this look now excuse i use this is my junk template when i just want to dump stuff in there so 570 25 percent down so when you're a non-owner occupied investor like me not going to house hack this thing Put a little kitty, little money in the kitty, 5,000 reserves um, at seven and a half percent. Two units at 1,400, 1,800. That's 3,200. We've got property taxes at 36, insurance at 900. I'm gonna assume the 3,000 is about, right? If, if he's not billing back anything to the tenants at 250 a month or so. Uh, 2,400 repairs, just the, just the budget, you know, 100 each side per month, who knows? And then a little bit of landscaping. Maybe you do an annual, annual cleanup of the uh, perimeter for the tenants. That's gonna produce a negative loss of $664 a month as is. If you were able to get the other side equal to the one that's 18, that gets you a gross rent of 3,600. But even then, you got to factor maybe a little bit of vacancy. Maybe that person says, no, I'm not going to pay 18 I'm moving out. So you have to turn the unit. Okay, so you look, that's why we factor a little bit of vacancy on the pro forma. But I also am going to factor in, I'm going to, at renewals, I'm going to build back the tenants, 100 bucks each uh, for water, sewer, and trash, if not already. Depends. I got to look at the leases. This listing was not very accurate in its financials. There's a lot more. This is a snapshot that I do, right, to see if the deals even work makes sense to write up an offer or, or something again now 
even at pro forma, we're looking at negative almost a couple hundred bucks a month. I don't think this is a very good deal. Maybe we get it for 550. This is where we need to kind of use our levers and play with the numbers. Okay, 550. Now we're almost breaking even, but still, I don't really want to break even on pro forma market rents, right? We want to get at least to 150 or better per door. Um, so maybe you have to put more down, unfortunately. That's how we make deals work in our area. Now we're now we're positive. Again, this is assuming though, uh, maybe a couple hundred dollars a month in repairs, which you may not experience, you know, very frequently. So you could be net, netting closer to 300, which wouldn't make this terrible for our area. Again, why do people invest in the Puget Sound area? Strong rents, strong jobs, strong appreciation. You want high, uh, you know, high double digit uh, cash flow, cash on cash returns, or whatever. You got to go to the Midwest. But again, your properties uh, are not going to appreciate like we see here. So it depends where you are in your stage of your investing. I believe if you're just getting started or if you're younger, you should be in high, high appreciating markets. If you're older or about to like retire, consider getting into more cash flow markets. Okay. Those are just my two cents on the deal. But anyway, uh, I mean, you'd have to get this thing for basically 500,000. You want to go the traditional route to really kind of have this almost make sense without putting a ton of extra cash in it. Um, and again, house hackers, you know, might not be a bad deal for them if they got in at FHA, could get this thing a little better, but I believe this is still gonna sit at 570 because you just can't make it work even at the pro form of 1800. So I hope that's helpful. This is just what I do for a quick snapshot. I do this every day, every morning. I go through properties. I, I do a quick look at things and see, try and match them with clients and give me that, their criteria. Because again, I have some clients say, no, Brad, I need, the thing to, I need this thing to cash flow day one. Okay, this won't work for some. Others that will tell me, Brandon, I don't care if it, if it uh, costs me 500 a month for the first year, I know I'm going to stabilize it. It's going to be better in the long run. I don't, I'm not here to tell you what's right or wrong. We all have different criteria, thankfully, right? But this is why I run my numbers and try and match it with my clients and their criteria to help them find the best deal possible. Hope that's helpful. I, I appreciate you watching.